What's going on, Yarcher Boy? Juggle Nights Two back here, and welcome back to Five Nights at Freddy's Four. Don't mind the uh, uh, the AC unit back there; it's a little bit hot in here. But and today, we attempt 2020 2020 mode right here, here on episode eight. I, I honestly aptly entitled because it is the eighth night, and I'm gonna tell you right now, I put in a lot of work. I put in a lot of hours in, and what you're probably gonna see actually, as I you know put this together though. Uh, what you're going to see is a major highlight reel of a lot of these, though, because, you know, I spent hours and hours on end trying to, you know, really figure out, you know, how perfect you've got to get everything down. But the real question is, did I complete this? Did I complete Five Nights at Freddy's 4's Ultimate Challenge? So, and you know what? That's probably one of the reasons why I'm hiding the spot where the fourth star should be. Now, it's up to you to watch it all the way to the end. Now, I'm going to do a little bit of a... Uh, a little bit of commentary on this so to kind of just guide you to all this and hopefully you know get a better grasp on how I did it because a lot of this uh, footage that I took until you know I got to the point where I was just done I can tell you right now though a lot of it was just me being quiet so what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna try to you know commentate over this a little bit and try to just walk you through just my mindset going through all this so and you also hear a little bit of me kind of chatting a little bit while I talk and while I'm not talking too. so this episode is not necessarily what you would call, you know, a side by side, but it's more like me being on the side while y'all on my on my shoulder too. So, on my shoulder, on my shoulder today. So, enjoy, peace. Left. Behind me. Six o'clock. Right side. Fucking damn it! Levski. You behind me, you're in the closet. Gotta be joking me, I was right there! Me to the left. Hi guys, it's your boy Juggle972 back here. Now, this is the sort of the uh, commentary that I was telling you about. Now, as you can see, as I'm in the middle of playing this, um, you'll see me kind of looking more to the left than the more to the right. And as I'm doing all this, I'm kind of just making mental notes to myself whenever I hear Foxy go to the left or go to the right. Well, usually whenever Foxy goes to the left or the right, though, he gives him an opportunity to actually jump in and get inside of the room. It's something that you don't want to do. But when that happens, though, it actually makes it a lot more difficult to actually manage. Thankfully, in this one, I think I managed to actually get him, uh, either keep him out up until 3 a.m., right before it switches over to nightmare mode. But most of the time, though, I'm usually trying to do that as a way to kind of just remind myself what to look for, because a lot of this has to do with timing with the other animatronics, you know, specifically Bonnie on the left and Chica on the right, since Chica's a little bit more prone to attack with, uh, with the cupcake. Now, usually whenever this starts to happen, um, usually waiting is what's most important, though, because whenever you wait to do these things, you can catch both uh, Foxy and whoever's on the left or on the right. In this case, whoever's on the left is going to be Bonnie and whoever's on the, in the Chica on the right. But when you can rack them all together, though, you can actually catch both of them at the same time and then push them right back. And you also got to remember about the frettles on the back, though, looking to your back, though, because most of the times you can actually forget just exactly how quickly they can gather up. But usually it's whenever the, when the frettles gather up, that's what takes the most time to do so. But when you manage to do that, though, you can actually rent, you can actually keep everybody in the loop and at bay as well. Now, switching over to Nightmare Mode, that's usually the hardest part, though, because Nightmare is going to be very tricky. A lot of the times, much like Golden Freddy or Fredbear, if you will, uh, Nightmare likes to sit there and just run back and forth, back and forth, so you really got to wait in order to see where you're going to go. If you can hear the left side, go to the left and wait don't necessarily have to actually flash your flashlight though but whenever you do flash the flashlight the moment you the thing you should do mainly is right after that is close the door you'll see me do it a few times in this game as well but most of the time though one of the things that he does is he likes to trick you by laughing now whenever he laughs he can do one of two things he can either appear either in the front or in the closet or he'll laugh and fool you 
and make you feel like you haven't left there. At least uh, two times out of ten, he does that. But when that happens, though, most of the time, though, you get about three, three to five seconds to really figure that out. And if it's too late, then it's too late, though, because I found myself to be a victim to this more than, I'd say, at least ten to twenty times. That was until I at least figured out just how effortless you have to be when it comes to timing everything. But when it comes down to really figuring out Nightmare, when you can figure out exactly where he goes, patience is the key here. If you can do a little bit of if you can do with a little bit of patience, then you should be more than okay in 20, 20, 20, 20 mode is much like Dark Souls. You learn through failure, and if you learn through failure, you can succeed. So yeah, take a little bit of the way I say it, take a little bit of time away. If you fail over and over again, don't just keep going. Let your brain cool off and then attempt it again. Behind me. Right ski. Left ski. Left ski. What's gonna happen? What's gonna happen? Right ski. Left ski. Left ski. Right ski. Left ski. Left ski. Left ski. Right ski. Right ski. Right ski. Left ski. Right ski. Shit. Left ski. Right ski. Left ski. Right ski. Left. Right ski. Right ski. Left. Left ski. Left ski. Right ski. Left ski. Yes! Oh! Oh my god, yes! Oh my god, yes! Oh! Ugh. Four star general. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, FNAF 4, 420 mode, even though 420 was yesterday, just got smoked. Don't mind the uh, sound in the background, that's my AC. But yes, this took hours to do. A couple of days off to kind of just figure it out too. Then again, and a little bit of uh, food and uh, mental energy too, so. Oh my god. I hope everybody enjoyed this little playthrough of Five Nights at Freddy's 4. This was my favorite Five Nights at Freddy's of all time. The second one, really, really close to it though because you had to be so quick. This one, you've got to be 100% precise at all times. Same thing with FNAF 4 though, but at the same time, you really could... It can go both ways with the first one. Even, you know, with the third one with the uh, aggressive nightmare mode. Aggressive uh, nightmare mode. But yeah. That was the end of Five Nights at Freddy's 4. All four stars have done. Woo! And look what we unlocked, too. 
Let's see. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Of course, sheet mode's already unlocked. Foma Balloon Boy has been unlocked. That's in the, uh, let's see. That's in the uh, the Halloween edition as well, but that was just added as an extra too. Uh, All Nightmare Mode, Insta Foxy, Mad Freddy. Yeah. Those are just ridiculous. But you know what? Maybe someday I'll come back and play uh, play those little uh, little challenges as well. But other than that, to me, that was my ultimate challenge. And it's about time that I finally caught myself. I finally caught, you know, it on footage. I've been wanting to do it because I've already completed two 20 modes before. That was on the second one. Actually, correction. First, second, and this one as well. So, yeah. I don't plan on going to, going to Five Nights at Freddy's 4. Maybe the first one. I'm not quite sure. We'll see. But as far as right now, done. Much love. Peace. And I'll see you in the next game. Bye-bye.